What's going on everybody? Blue Gabe here. We're in Georgia, South Georgia, at Paul Thigpen's house. I was in Alabama all week with my brother, Mr. Will Fowler, owner of Frog Talks, such an amazing person. But the weather was horrible. Y'all, we had to beat it up out of there. I stopped by Paul's, traded in my truck, got a new truck. Now we're headed offshore to catch sea bass on Mr. Paul Thigpen's personal boat. Look at Redneck down there rolling in something. Redneck, get over here. Leave a comment below if your dog likes to roll in stinky, nasty, smelly stuff. Mine sure does, that's a fact. I wanted to show you all the sunrise, but my phone said the sunrise was 6.42. It's now seven o'clock and it still ain't came up, so I don't know what's the deal. But right now, we gotta go fishing. Big old, whoa, big old biggin. We actually saw this fish eat from about 70 yards away. Josh pointed him out. He couldn't take this little paddle tail. We actually weren't even filming. We've been tr having trouble. The water's so cold finding fish. You know what this means, Josh, don't you? What's that? Black and red fish for dinner. Look at that, y'all. Looks like two slabs of tacos today. We're taking him to the River and Post, and we're cooking him up. That chef already told me he's got something really good lined up. Ready to go. I'm gonna put the GoPro on, and we're gonna start fishing now. All right, y'all ever have one of those, like, life-changing moments? in life where pretty much nothing goes right. I'm gonna set this camera on my knee and have a heart to heart with y'all. I went to Alabama trying to film and that huge storm hit four days ago. Wrecked that idea. We got to do one show with deer meat for dinner. I helped film. We all had a good time. After that, it has been downhill. I have stopped in Alabama and tried to film. Tried to film a deer hunt, got rained out. I killed a deer didn't get it on film because it was raining and my cameras can't get wet then I drove all the way to Paul Thigpen bought me a new truck big shout out Paul Thigpen if y'all need a new truck check him out best dealer there is he'll bring that truck to you no matter where you're at so then I left Paul Thigpen and I drove all the way to St. Simons Island Georgia gonna do a video with Paul go out sea bass fishing today right look how beautiful it is here though Tried to do that, Mr. Paul's boat batteries were dead. And the store didn't open up until 10 o'clock to get a new one. No big deal. I called straight out of Compton, Josh Compton, on Instagram. For those of y'all who don't know, his Instagram name is straight out of Compton. Let's go catch a redfish. Well, we have been fishing as hard as we can all day, and we've caught two. I caught a keeper, he caught a little dink. One thing's for sure, I've got one keeper and I'm gonna take it tonight to River and Post and show you his chef cook a dish with that one redfish, it's gonna be amazing. But another thing I'm gonna do on this video that's different, tomorrow, when I'm done with tomorrow's video, I'm gonna answer 10 questions from this video. So I'm gonna pick 10 of y'all that ask me questions and answer them on the next video. I don't know what part of the video I'm gonna do it, but I'll sit down with my phone and I'll answer 10 of y'all's questions. I'm just gonna randomly pick them. Definitely not gonna go in order. It's just gonna be one here, one there, one here, one there. 10 questions y'all ask away. Try to keep it clean. If it isn't a clean question, I just delete them. No biggie, yep. Just had a redfish waking in front of the boat, but it's just freezing cold and they're not wanting to eat. So 10 questions, leave a comment below. Tell me what you wanna know and I'll answer them. Right now we're gonna keep fishing if we catch another fish, I'm going to show you. 
If not, when I see you, we'll be back at Josh's house cleaning this redfish, taking a shower, getting dressed, and going to River and Post. Y'all don't want to miss River and Post though, because it's one of the nicest restaurants in Jacksonville, and I'm super excited. We'll see y'all when I see you. No longer did I hang up. What is that? A catfish? Yeah. A little teeny tiny copper croaker. A little teeny croaker. tiny cockroache. Call that the copper croaker. Look at the dots though. Get him in here. That thing's, people want to see that fish. That's his good side. Don't get that hook in the finger like I did a couple weeks ago. Look at that. Look at all them dots. That's like a little leopard, leopard redfish. Look at that tail. Mm. Now look at this. <laughs> Literally, one second after setting the camera down saying that we might not catch another one, we caught one. So always stay positive, always fish hard. Now I'm putting the camera down, I'm gonna pick my rod up. If we catch another one, I'll show you. If not, I'll see you back at the house. So first, I need to give you some fun facts on Jacksonville. You see all this shoreline? It looks like, man, you could just walk this bank and catch all kinds of fish. If you made the fatal mistake of stepping on that bank right there, you'd go up to your neck in mud and probably cut your feet off on oysters. What's the matter? Oh, what kind of pliers are them? These are Dankos. These oh. are the premiums. Did you use the Blue Gate promo code? I sure did. You did? 10% off, man. These things are awesome. <laughs> I love them. That's one more thing I'm going to tell you guys. Almost everything that you see me using, I have a promo code for, and that promo code will be Blue Gabe. Frog Togs, these awesome new shoes, anything Frog Tog makes, promo code Blue Gabe. Danko Knives, anything they make, promo code Blue Gabe. Can Cooker, favorite rods, all my rods, I just got a new um, promo code for them. All my promo codes are the same, Blue Gabe, and you will save 10 to 20%, and in most cases, free shipping. You're one up on me now. But both yours put together didn't weigh what mine did. No, those things were snacks. Hmm. All right, guys, we're going to get back to fishing. Getting bit again. What? Now let's see you, if we you're... can actually take something home for dinner. What? A trout. A trout. Look at that. Pull him on up in here. You, you like eating trout, don't you? Sometimes. You gotta eat them fresh. So it used to be that you could keep six trout and it would be 15 inches to 20 inches and you could keep one trophy fish over 20 inches. Well, if you go to fish rules, you'll know that now it's five per person and 15 through 19 inches and you can only keep one over 19. Huh, that fish is definitely 15 inches. Well, let's make a meal out of him. Wow. Don't you stick your finger in there. Let him see his teeth. Look at his teeth. Look at that. I think I should uh, give me bass lip him. Yeah. <laughs> I can see what I was aiming for is working. I knew if I picked this camera up and just said, you know what, I'm going to end the show right now, make something out of nothing, bam, bam, fish, fish. So at least we're giving y'all something to show. But the, back to Jacksonville. Jacksonville is a huge port, like mega giant port. They have cargo ships that hold 4,000 cars, and there's actually one of those laying on its side right next to Paul Thigpen's house right now in St. Simons Island, Georgia. And I'm gonna make a video out of that soon, but I gotta go home and get my boat and bring it back up to get real close to it because it's in shallow water. But Jacksonville is beautiful, just sort of sawgrass, switchgrass, swamp, mud, oysters, big oak hammocks and palmetto ledges. It's just, this place is like insanely beautiful. But when you get way out here in the swamp, it looks like you're in the middle of nowhere and look, you can turn around and right there's the port. So you're really not in the middle of nowhere, but you, you get that feel. So why do they call them a speckled trout? Well, look at all those speckles on them, all those little dots. But you know what's pretty interesting about a speckled trout? Mm. It's not a trout, it's, it's actually part of the drum family. Is that why it grunts? Yeah, you ever hear it drum? I want to see. I don't know if it'll grunt for you, or drum. Look at that one tooth though. Are they good to eat? I think they're pretty good. A lot of people love them, especially in Louisiana. They're pretty white meat up here. And from what I understand, further south, they get a lot of worms in them. We don't see a bunch of worms in our trout up here in North Florida. 
All right, we're headed in, and a little fun fact about Jacksonville is they're known for Mayport shrimp. Jacksonville is actually a huge shrimping area. And Josh here, that's his wife's family. He said he could hook me up with some fresh made pork shrimp himself. I said, hey. Like Forrest Gump says, what's he always says? Life's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. That's right. Y'all are getting two redfish shows back to back pretty much. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Made pork shrimp. Fun fact. We're headed in. Hey, we'll see y'all. What? You, you remember the rock shrimp that we had? Yeah. That's who got them. When we were gator hunting? Yeah. Okay. When we were gator hunting, I took Josh and them gator hunting. He brought some fresh rock shrimp, and that's another thing that they catch here is rock shrimp off of these big boats, his wife's family. Big shout out, thanks to all y'all. I might even stop and show you another fun fact before we get back, but don't go anywhere because it's going to get good real soon. All right, y'all, we're back at Mr. Ken's house. He's who we're going fishing with tomorrow for hopefully giant wahoo. I just took the scales off this redfish and off the trout. We're gonna take this to River and Post tonight and have it for dinner. But on this one, I am flaying it, but we're taking about all the edible meat we can. The throat, everything but really the head. Just come right down the back like that. The scales on these things are huge. And while I'm doing this, if y'all haven't yet thought about a question to ask me, don't forget, anything you wanna ask me, as long as it's clean, I'm going to answer them in the next video. Man, the rib bones on that fish are tough. It helps when the fish is cold. This fish, we took him straight out of the bait well. I cleaned him so it's firm. So there you go. We've got the throat and the whole entire filet. We're going to take that back to River and Post and cook it. Now the trout's a lot easier. It's not near as big. His rib bones aren't near as tough. This Danko knife you're seeing me use, I have not sharpened it since I got it, I don't know, two months ago. And everything y'all have seen me clean with it, I've cleaned without sharpening it a single time. I just want to see how long it can go. All right, so we're here at River and Post. This is my good friend Jeff. This place is second to none. Look at that view. So that's the St. John's Waterway, and we are up very high. Look at that. Get the full bed. Look at the full bed. Yeah, y'all know I'm scared of heights. So how are we gonna cook this fish? Um, we're probably gonna sear it up. Uh, we're doing a special tonight that I can't do. It. Just keep talking. It doesn't matter. No, I'm not good at this. <laughs> I can edit it out. Just keep talking. Like, y'all know you're gonna be on are you YouTube Luke now. A? Yeah. You're sorry. <laughs> so keep talking. Yeah. Huh? Hunting, fishing. This is your guy. Come on with the come on. Welcome come to Jacksonville. <laughs> See, she just rep way better than he did. Way better, dude. Get it. Way better. I'm not very really good on this. We're still waiting on how are we going to cook it? Um, probably going to sear it up, put it over Cajun risotto, and then with the lemon butter or blanc sauce on top. All right, I'm going to go downstairs now. So this is just the Sky Lounge. This is where you can come have a cocktail, have an appetizer. But now we're going to go downstairs and meet our guests and have dinner. We'll see you all down there. All right, y'all. They're letting me come back here in the back and get a sneak peek of how they're cooking this fish. What is that? Cajun couscous. We are doing sausage and lobster. That looks good. What is it going? Been with me since day one. My, my number, well, my first employee. Been with me since day one. Before day one. Yeah, the well done. Isn't that right? October twenty second. October twenty second. Two and a half years later. Twenty second. All right. Now we take three more Now we take three. You're putting that redfish in the couscous? Yep. Oh yeah. All right, y'all. This is what they're doing with the redfish. Should have been doing. Walking in scallops and a Diane medium. Hey! Where that? Put an extra spoonful for me. Right here. Right there. Eagle Marker Days, right there. Alright. Alright. This is a red fish with a lobster couscous and dewy couscous. Enjoy. Time to go eat. All right, so I know it's dark and I know it's loud in here. This is Mr. Ken and his wife. 
We got Bo, we got Josh, this is Bo's wife back there. I'll introduce everybody when it's quieter later. But they just brought out the redfish couscous and we're gonna let everybody try it real quick. Mr. Ken, you get the first dip. All right. All right, let me get some. Thanks for coming in. That's really good. What do y'all think about the River and Post? We love River and Post. Yeah, it's a great place. Yeah. You guys, if you're in the Jacksonville area, highly recommend River and Post. Even if you're up in Brunswick or down in Daytona, it's an hour drive for one of the best restaurants and the best chefs I've ever been a part of. What do you think, Mr. Nolan? Man, that thing was just swimming about four hours ago. That is awesome. That is the best thing I've had all day. The only reason I caught that fish was Josh said, did you just see that fish bust up there? Yep. Obviously, I snook it, threw my lure over there and caught him. Now he's on this table. Y'all, this redfish couscous, I'm just getting around to trying it, might be one of the best things I've ever tried. And everybody's agreeing with me. It's so fresh, so many different flavors. It's the bomb diggity, if you know what I mean. And I'm gonna sit here and eat the rest because I was patient and let everybody else get theirs first. Man, so good. We got more? We got more, baby. We got more. This is this is the redfish, but it's fried over some shoestring fries and a sriracha aioli. It's good stuff. Is it gonna be wow. half as good as that? that looks good. I, I hope so. Is that good? That, yeah, that was good. Hey, what are we gonna do to the turkeys next month? Well, Gabe, I'm gonna blast them. Gabe's gonna probably miss, and they'll fly up in a tree, and he'll have to run under the tree and shoot them out. But I know I'm gonna blast them. So, if I could have made a video of him and I's last turkey hunt together. It would have been viral because I shot a turkey, it takes off flying, lands in a tree, falls out, I got up, still ran him through the briars, and captured that turkey without a gun. And two hours later, we busted another turkey almost in the same spot. That's right. That's right. Y'all stay tuned for Jeff and I's turkey hunts. Coming right up.